All right. Does everyone here have their towel ready? We've got our towel ready. I hope you guys have your towel ready too. We're going to start off with a nice, easy warm up, get you guys loosened up. Now, today, we're going to do things that we usually can't do with our body weight exercises. Normally, with body weight stuff, you can do a lot of pushing, a lot of core, a lot of quad stuff. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to hit the other things that you can't usually hit with the towel. So, this will be a slower paced sort of workout, but the muscles that we're going to be activating are going to be destroyed. So, hope you're ready for that. Uh, we're going to get started here with a warm up, and you're going to need your towel. First thing we're going to do is you're going to grab your towel. We're going to be nice and wide in the towel, a little wider than shoulder width apart. We're going to hold it at shoulder distance in a nice, comfortable stance. And we are simply going to rotate 180 degrees from side to side for 30 seconds straight. So go ahead and grab your towel. Arms are going to be straight out in front. And we're going to get started. Glenda! What's up, Smiley? Good to see you. Arms straight out. We're going to be twisting at the torso 180 degrees, pulling that towel slightly. Jesus. Make sure you're not going to hit anybody when you start rotating. This could really take out a small child. So keep your eyes out for where the kitties are. Here we go. Nice steady twist. Rotating 180 degrees. We don't want to twist any more than that. Just swift 180 to 180. There we go. Looking good. Now, next up, what we're going to do is you're going to take your towel. We're going to be as wide as we can be on this towel, and we're going to come from the mid-chest. We're going to rotate right behind the neck, and then right back to mid-chest. Right behind the neck, back to mid-chest. Keeping those arms straight the entire time. So lock them out. Nice big V. Rotating up. Feel that little lock right behind the shoulders, and then coming right back to that mid-chest region. So feel that lock. Come right back down to mid chest and then right back up. There you go. Try and keep those arms straight the entire time. You don't want any bending going on here. Woo! Come right back down. There you go, V. Nice little rotation. And then right back down. Down. For our next one, we're going to get in that same wide hand position and I'm going to step back into a lunge. All right. Whatever leg is straight, I'm going to point that arm straight out in front of me, and the other arm is going to start right by my hip. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that front arm, and I'm going to wave it behind me, rotating my chest 180 degrees, and then coming right back to a neutral position. All right, so we're going to take it, point it out. We're going to rotate and twist fully, and then we're going to come right back to that neutral position. Okay? So, we're going to get a nice lunge position here. Whatever leg is forward, that is the hand that is going to be pointing forward. So switch. There we go. Now you're going to take that front arm and we're going to loop it behind you. Go ahead and loop. Nice little twist. Try to rotate that torso behind you. We bring that arm. That front arm is all you're worried about looping behind you, pointing directly behind, and then taking that arm in a straight loop right back over. There you go, nice big rotation. Coming right back, big loop. All you're thinking about is that front arm. Go ahead and switch sides here. Three, two, one, begin. Other arm. So front arm should be pointed forward. And you're going to rotate behind the front leg. There we go. Pointing, rotating, and twisting over that front leg. Right back. You need to be making a U with that front arm. So point to the front, U. There we go. Go ahead and relax. Next up is going to be a Romanian. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our um, towel. I'm going to have it a little wider than shoulder width apart. I'm going to pull it taut. And I'm going to pull those hips back in a standard Romanian down to the knees and then right back up. So hip distance apart, pulling tight. You're going to pull those hips back, keeping a nice flat back as we do this, and then right back down. Knees, right 
and back up. There we go. Pull those hips straight back. Hi, I fell right out. Welcome. What's up, girl? Welcome to the party. Pull those hips straight back and then lean them right back up. Good. Right back up. You guys are doing all right? Down. Next up is going to be a squat. We're going to take that towel. We're going to whoosh, wrap it right behind the neck. And I'm going to give a small pull down. Not pulling as tight as I can, but a nice pull. Squat distance apart, a little wider than shoulder width. I'm going to sit straight down until my elbows touch my thighs. And then stand right back up. Grab your towel right behind the neck. Pulling slightly down and you're squatting down. So those elbows touch the knees and then right back up. There we go. Good job, guys. You look so excited right now. Oh my God. Squatting all the way down, touching those elbows to the knees, and then you are standing right back up. There we go. Good job. Down. Now, last up is going to be a wrist curl. This one's going to be a little weird. So what you're going to do is you're going to get a strong grip of one of your ends and we're going to stand on the other end. And what I want to do is I want to get my forearm flat, but I want that wrist hanging. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up at the wrist, curling, slowly pulling myself down until the wrist is in full flexion. And then I'm going to stand back up, bending that wrist all the way back down. Moving along that. So standing on top of the towel, I want that arm tucked into the body with the wrist straight down, and I'm gonna pull with my wrist, pulling my body all the way down, and then extending, fighting it, coming all the way back up. So coming down, curl with that wrist, and then coming right back up, looking for a big squeeze of that forearm right here, and then right back down, pull, 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 right back down. Good. Down. Take a second, we're going to switch arms, so flippy flip on over, get a good grip in that opposite hand, palm is going to be facing up, we want to make sure that that wrist is hanging. You ready? Let's get it. So we're curled and twisting, there we go, and then right back down, let that wrist hang, come in, get a full extension of that wrist, extending all the way, there you go, Eat. pull, 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 right back down. There you go, looking good, looking good. Short time left. Down. Good job. Oh, that was it for our warm up. So hopefully you guys are loosey goosey and ready to go here. We're gonna have two major working sets today. The first working set, you're gonna be standing. The second working set, you are going to be seated. Now, a towel is a very strange piece of equipment, all right? It doesn't have a constant state of tension. It doesn't build tension. The tension is either on or off. So everything in this workout is gonna depend on how much effort you put into the towel. If I tell you to pull that towel tight, you can just easy pull it, nothing, no effort. But if you really pull the towel as hard as you can, you're gonna get a lot more out of these workouts, okay? Now, as we're building tension here, you have a range of pull that you can put on most of these exercises. You can pull a little bit, or you can pull as hard as you can. Now, when we start, start pulling a little bit, and as we go, I gradually want you to pull harder and harder here, all right? I will give demonstrations on those, so you guys know what you're doing, all right? So the first exercise that we're gonna be doing today is a lunge curl. And this one is very exciting. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our towel. We're going to lay it right on the ground. Not need this. You're going to lay this right on the ground. I want one hand in each side. My front foot's going to be square in the middle and I'm going to get in a good strong lunge position. And what we're going to do is we're going to curl down with our arms coming down with the legs and once I hit the bottom I'm going to extend up fighting the towel with my arms the whole time. So as I'm coming down, I'm pulling myself with my arms and resisting with my leg. And on the way up, I'm pulling, I'm pushing with my legs and resisting with my arm. So we're gonna do that for about a 25 second period. And then you're gonna get about 12 seconds of rest to switch sides. 
and we're going to go back and forth that a few times. All right? Are you ready? Are you guys ready at home? If you haven't shared the video or liked the video, go ahead and do that now. Get ready for your first round. <sighs> this is a long set, so I hope you guys are ready for this. Once I hit that little play button, this timer can't stop. Uh, so make sure you guys are ready for this stuff, all right? Good morning, Pops. Good to see you, son. What? Is it weird to call your dad, son? <gasps> all right. So we're going to get in that lunge position. We're going to have both palms facing each other. Nice long lunge position here. And you're going to curl up and down the whole time. So we're coming down, curling, and then right back up. Make sure you're resisting yourself with the towel right here. You can absolutely turn this and just do a regular lunge, and you're going to get nothing out of this. You really need to make sure you're pulling that towel with the arms and you're trying to resist yourself with that towel the entire time. That towel is your enemy here. You need to make that as heavy as you can make it. Go ahead and relax. We're going to switch sides here. So take a second. Flippy flip. Middle foot. Foot right in the middle of the towel here. We're going to step back into our lunge. And curl. Big curl, right back up. You only have to come down as far as you're comfortable and only extend up as far as your arms go. Once your arms come straight, don't come up any higher. The straight is the best point we need to get to. Pull yourself down, and as you stand up, fight those arms all the way. Down, switching sides. We have one more round on each side, and then we're going to get into some isometric holds after that. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Hope you guys are doing all right at home. So, nice long lunge position here. And go. Pulling yourself down, big curls, extending up. You're fighting your way up the whole time with a big squeeze of those arms. There you go. Fight it. Curl it. There you go. You're only going to get as much out of this as you put in. So make sure you're giving me 100% here. There you go, Eve. Right back up. It's getting tough, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Such a heavy towel. There you go. We're curling. Right back down. Switching sides. This is going to be our last round of our reps. How's that feeling? Great. Great. Go ahead and get a breath, get ready, nice lunge position, curl, coming straight down, and right back up. There we go. There we go, looking good. Curling all the way down, big flex of those biceps, keeping the arms tight the entire time. Looking good, you looking good. Down. Now for this next round, we're going to be doing the same two exercises, but this time you're going to hold. So we're going to get in that maximum tension position, arms pulled, and you're going to pull your arms as tight as you can, and we're going to hold that position for the entire timer. So go ahead and get in your long lunge position. We're going to come down, pulling those arms up as tight as you can. We want to make sure that the arms are at 90 degrees and both legs are at 90 degrees. That's going to ensure we have max tension on both muscle groups. So pull it up as tight as you can here. 10 seconds left, guys. I know this is tough. Write it down. Squeezing those arms up as tight as you can. Four seconds left. Don't give up. Down. We've got a little time here, and then we're going to switch sides. That was tough, wasn't it? Yeah. God, that towel can kick your butt, boy. So we're going to go ahead and switch legs here. Same thing. 25 second hold. Maximum tension here. So step back. Arms are at 90 degrees, legs are at 90 degrees. Squeeze those arms up as hard as you can, but you're also pressing through that leg in the ground, creating some extra stress into those arms. There you go, E. Short time left. 10 seconds. You guys are doing great. <sighs> Woo! Blood burning. The legs and the arms. Both. Both. Good answer. <sighs> yes. Next on the agenda is going to be an isometric row. So we're going to grab the ends of our towel here. I'm going to step on this with one foot. The back leg is going to be straight. Front leg is going to be bent. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and pull my elbows up and back towards the ceiling and then release. 
pull up and release, pull up and release. I'm trying to drive those elbows up and back into the ceiling. I want to make sure that I'm at a good angle here, right about here, pulling and squeezing and then releasing. So we're not going to have a huge range of motion here, just here, squeeze, release, squeeze, release. That's all we're looking for here. So both hands on, back leg is straight, you're going to pull and squeeze and then release, pull and squeeze, release, lean forward just a little more for me. The more your chest can come towards the ground, the more we're going to get out of this. Big squeeze. Now I don't want you yanking into the towel, try and keep the towel tense the entire time and just build that tension, really try and flex those up mid back muscles as much as you can, relax. You get 12 seconds of rest, we're going through that four times. Big breaths, right back down, chest towards the ground. Thank you, Matthew, good to see you, son. We're leaning, we're pulling. I don't want you to release the arms all the way. Release some tension, and then pull right back down. We're gonna get that chest down just a little more. There you go, pull and squeeze. Pull and squeeze, try and pick your head up a little bit. We want a nice neutral neck here. You don't want to be sagging very much, and we don't want to be looking up fully either. We want that whole back spine equation to be nice and flat. Relax. Woo, how's that feeling? Great. Great. Got two more rounds, you guys are looking great. Hope you guys are keeping up with Miss Erica right here. Go ahead and get ready, nice and flat, and pull. Pull, big squeeze, turning it on, turning it off. Now as we get deeper into these rounds, I want you guys to start pulling harder and harder for longer and longer. So as we're doing this, make each pause, each pull a little bit longer, pulling a little bit harder every time until you feel like you're about to rip that towel in half. Down, Wayne. What's up, buddy? Good to see you, man. On round three, looking good. Shake those shoulders out. Get ready for this next one. Chest towards the ground, pulling those elbows towards the ceiling, getting a good flex of that mid to upper back right here. Big squeeze and release. Big squeeze. Keep turning it off, turning it off. Trying to bump up your power as we do this. Big squeeze that upper back. Start pulling as hard as you can every time. Put 100% into that towel, squeeze it as hard as you can, and try and drive those elbows into the ceiling. Okay, that was it. The next two rounds, now we're doing the same exercise. This is going to be a hold. So I want you to pull as hard as you can, and we're gonna continuously pull for that whole 30 seconds. Thanks, Wayne. Thanks for stopping by, man. Good to see you, buddy. So, lean in, pull, Keep this tension on the whole time. Drive those elbows up towards the ceiling. Try and flex those lats. Keep the elbows close to the body and squeeze as tight as you can. Pull it up, pull it up, pull it up. Keeping a constant state of tension here. Make sure you're breathing. Full breaths in, full breaths out. Oh, look at her, she's shaking. She's pulling as hard as she can. Pull, three seconds left. Pull even harder, come on. Almost there. Down, great job guys. We're gonna do that one more time. How'd that feel? Great. Great, this is brutal. I told you guys, this is not going to be one of those heart rate exercises. This is going to be a muscular destruction exercise. So go ahead and step back on. Lean. This is our last 25 seconds here. So you are pulling. You're staying tight. Looking good. Got a nice flat back here. Pick that head up just a little bit so we have a flat spine. Pulling as hard as you can. Keep it tight. If you need to rest for a second, rest. But as soon as you can, get right back to work. There you go, E. Looking good. Looking good. Down. Now this next one is quite the doozy. I enjoy it. It does look a little silly though. All right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to have one arm bent to 90 degrees and the other arm is going to be straight and about mid chest. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend one arm and bend the other arm and we're going to floss back and forth. All right. But I want to resist myself the whole time. So as I'm pulling with one arm, the other arm should be pushing, and we're really gonna fight this back and forth the whole time, all right? So it's very important we get one arm up to 90 degrees, other arm needs to be straight. There we go. And you're going to push and pull. Make sure you're fighting the towel, fight it the whole time. You should be resisting yourself here. 
Nice, steady pace. Don't stop at either end. As soon as you hit the resistance, a little more. Go a little slower. Take your time here. Stay slow. Keep that tension high on the towel. There you go. Looking good. Looking good. Woo! Now, just to make this a little more spicy, because I'm a little crazy, I want you guys to get in a sumo position, and we're going to do that same thing, all right? So nice wide sumo position. We're going to sit about halfway, one arm bent, one arm straight, and you're pushing and pulling here. Resist a little more, fight it, there you go. Nice and easy. I saw this in Hawaii. Well, I saw it in a YouTube video about Hawaii. I've never been to Hawaii. So keep it up. <laughs> Nice and tight, keeping those arms strong, 90 degrees, flexing and pulling, flexing and pulling. There you go, Amy. Woo! That was a little tougher than it looks, isn't it? It's just a little wishy walk, wishy wishy wishy. All right, we got two more rounds of that. You guys are looking great. Sticking with that half sumo squat, nice and wide, push and pull. Looking good. There you go, keep it up. Keeping that tension tight on the towel the whole time, making sure we're at 90, extend and squeeze. As you're pushing, one arm should be pulling, which is creating that negative tension in our towel. Very good, E. Oh. Woo! <laughs> Down, we have one more round of that, and then we will be going on to our isometric holds. You guys are doing awesome, keep up the good work. Marcia, Garcia, Parcia, Tarcia, Marcia. Thanks for the light, girl. Good to see it. Nice and wide. Make sure you're pushing those knees out. Back should be nice and flat. You are fighting that push pull the entire time. Looking good, E. Woo! This is also how you clean your forehead in the shower. What's wrong with me? Like cleaning, wiping the sweat off the brow. Looking good, looking good. Stay tight. Down, 20 seconds of rest. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to create a negative tension. So we're going to get in that position. We're going to be at 90 and full. And I'm going to try and pull. And I'm going to get to right about here. And I'm just going to pull both of these apart as hard as I possibly can without moving. All right? So get about midway through the movement. Hold and pull as hard as you possibly can here. Pulling that towel tight. Nice, strong squat position and make sure you're breathing in and out fully the entire set. Pulling that towel, make sure you're ripping it in half. You see that towel shaking? You see how much she's working right now? She's working her butt off, girl. You better keep it up. Keep up with Erica right here. You guys are killing it. Down. Next up, we're going to straighten the opposite arm out. This is our last hold, and then we're moving on to our last exercise. You guys are killing it right now. So that second arm should be bent. Nice, wide sumo position here. And pull, push, pull, push, pull, push. Bend this arm just a little bit, there you go. Pulling with this arm, trying to extend that arm. This elbow is forced to fight. This is a great amount of tension on those arms. You see this girl shaking. You guys should be shaking at home too if you're really giving 100% effort here. Keep it up, Erica, you're doing great. Almost there. And down. Good job, guys. Good job, guys. This is our last round for our first set. What we're going to do is we're going to take our handy dandy towel here. We're going to get slightly wider than shoulder width apart. So just wider than our hips. We're going to hinge at our chest. So we have a nice flat back here. And what I want to do is I want to pull the towel open as hard as I possibly can. And I'm going to pull that up to the mid chest and then right back down. Throughout the entire movement, I want to make sure that I'm pulling that towel as hard open as I possibly can, all right? So, go ahead and turn. Belky, hey girl. Wider than shoulders, pull it as tight as you can, and you want to pull it to mid-chest. That's belly button, mid-chest. There you go, right there, right back down. Pull it, I want you to come straight down, Straight up, there we go. Lifting, try to pull open as much as you can, keeping that open tension as you pull to the mid chest, and you should be able to create a lot of tension on that mid to upper back here. Rest, great job, how'd that feel? Go ahead and take a couple deep breaths. Get ready for the second round. Ready, begin. Your palms should be 
facing down. You're trying to open that towel up as hard as you can. You should almost feel yourself shaking as you're pulling it if you're really pulling that towel open as hard as you can. Yes, this is tough. Keep it up, guys. You are doing great. We are just using a towel here, and man, it feels like a thousand freaking pounds. Looking good, Eden. You're almost there. Now, for this next round, what we're going to do is we're going to flip our hands over. So palms are going to be facing out now. We're still pulling and pulling to that center of the chest. So good lean. Palms are facing out. Open that towel up as much as you can. Pull it into that mid chest and then right back down. Pull, get a good squeeze that mid to upper back and then release that tension right back down. Looking good, E. Big squeeze. Woo! Looking good, looking good. Pull it open, big squeeze and then right back down. 10 seconds left, guys. You guys are killing it at home. Keep that pace up. We are looking good. Making those muscles work. Down. We have one more round of that, and we are going to stick with those palms facing forward, pulling to the middle of the chest. So take a couple of breaths. Get ready. And pull. Opening up that towel as much as you can, trying to pull to that mid sternum. That's how we're going to get a good activation of that mid to upper back right here. Good job. You guys are killing it. Woo Come on, you're doing great. You guys got 10 seconds left. Create as much tension as you possibly can. You guys are doing excellent right now. Almost there. Three seconds. Three seconds. Down. So this last round is going to be our holds. The first round, we're going to do palms down. Second round, we're going to do palms up. So for this first round, palms should be facing you. We're going to get to that upright position, opening up as much as we can. And you're going to hold that position. All right? So chest down, opening up as much as you can. Pull to the chest. Keep this position. Lock that mid back and try and extend those arms out, flexing out as much as you possibly can. 15 seconds. You guys are doing great. Woo, it burns, boy. Come on, you guys are killing it right now. Keep fighting, keep fighting. Three seconds. Down, great job. Last round, what we're gonna do is we're gonna flippy flip those hands on over. Same thing, up at the top, pulling open as hard as you possibly can. This is the last set for the first round. Give me 100% here, guys. You ready? Let's do it. There we go, right at the mid chest. Back is nice and flat. Pulling open as we're drawing those elbows back. You should be getting a tremendous amount of tension right here, which is exhausting. So keep it up, keep giving 100%. That's how you guys get better. Keep pushing here. Almost there. Down, down, down. Oh man, you guys are doing a great job at home. Eat is killing it as she always does. This woman is a beast, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys haven't liked and commented and subscribed already, do all that stuff now while we take a small rest in between our rounds. <sighs> How you guys liking the towel so far? It's fun, right? I got plenty more for you, so get ready for it. Now, quick announcement, this will be our last morning class. This is our last. Next week, we're going to start doing our classes at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Central Time. Uh, we held a little poll to see which one you guys would like more, and the 5.30 slot won by a landslide, so we are here for the people. So we're going to make this work for you guys. So we will be starting next week, 5.30 p.m., so hope you guys are ready. And if you voted for 5.30 p.m., you better show up. Don't vote if you don't plan on showing up. So. Next round, all of next round is going to be on the floor, so we're going to have a nice little mat to Towel me. Thank you. <laughs> so what we're going to do for this first one is we're going to lay on our back. And I'm going to have my towel ends in each hand, and they're going to be facing each other. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap that around one foot, and we're going to lay straight back, all right? I want my head on the ground here, and we're gonna start in this upright position. Arms are at 90 degrees, top leg is bent to 90 degrees. And what I'm gonna do with my head back is I'm going to flex my arms, and I'm gonna extend that leg until my arms are straight, 
and then I'm going to try and curl my leg up with my arms. I'm really fighting both ways. So as I'm curling, my leg is pushing, and as I'm pushing down, my legs are trying to fight my arms. So the whole time, there's a constant state of back and forth tension between that leg and my arms. So this is going to be set up the same way the last one was. There's going to be a few sets of constant reps and then a few sets of constant tension, all right? So we're going to start off with the right leg going for reps. Are you ready, Miss Erica? You guys ready at home? This is going to be a lot tougher than it looks. I hope you guys are ready to give me some good effort here. Whoo! I hope you guys are ready at home too. So we're going to be starting in 10 seconds. So on the foot, palms should be facing each other right on the very end of the towel. We're going to start in this upright position here. Now arms are tight, extend the leg. You can pick those elbows up a little bit, don't want those on the ground. Now just let your head relax right on back. Extending. Flex. Make sure you're fighting both ways. This should be a nice, slow repetition. If we're going too fast here, we're not going to be able to build the tension we need to build. There you go. Nice and slow. Down. After this, we're going to be flipping legs. So go ahead and switch which leg you're using. Arms are going to stay tight. Start at that 90 degree mark with both muscle groups. And push and pull. Leg is extending, extending those arms out. Come in and curl as tight as you can, extend it right back out. Woo! There we go, work those arms. Make sure you're coming all the way to straight, right back up. Make sure that head is staying against the ground here. Want to give that neck a little break here. It took a lot of tension last round. Right back up, curling, big squeeze, big push. Looking good, E. Great job, we're going to switch here. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Pushing and pulling here. Extend that leg straight out towards me. So push, extend the knee. There you go. Arms are completely straight. She's curling up as hard as she can. You guys are doing great. Push and pull, push and pull. Five seconds left. How's that feeling, Missy? Great. Those arms are burning, guaranteed. Rest, switching sides here. This is gonna be our last one for our reps. After this, we're gonna go into those isometric holds. Doing all right? Yep. And begin. Pushing and pulling. Oh, I'm sure those hands are getting tired, aren't they? Oh yeah. It's hard holding on to your towel. There you go, we're extending out fully and then coming right back in, looking good here. Keep it up at home, guys. Tino, keep pushing, kid. Come on. Down. Go ahead and rest. Now we're going to be going into our isometric holds, which we want to find our highest tension point here, which will be about halfway through the movement. So we're going to be just past that 90 degree mark with the arms, and you should hit a neutral position of pushing and pulling the whole time. Right here, she's pushing with her leg as hard as she can. She's also pulling with her arms as tight as she can. This is tough. Keep it up. What up, Coral? Welcome to the party. Pushing and pulling as tight as you can, guys. We're trying to keep the isometric hold. Keep fighting it. Keep fighting it. Doesn't look like a lot's going on here, but her leg is pushing as hard as her can, and her arms are pulling as tight as they can. Rest. We're going to go ahead and switch legs here. Got a couple seconds to breathe. Switching sides, ready? And about halfway through the movement, a little past 90 degrees, pushing and pulling as hard as you possibly can. There you go, E. Make sure you're breathing here. Big breaths in, big breaths out. Looking good. Oh, she's shaking. She's shaking. I hope you guys are shaking like Miss E is right here. She is working right now. I hope you guys are too. Down. There you go. I'm going to need that young lady. Next up is going to be a hip press, all right, or a hip march rather. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay on our hips, our backs. <laughs> I'm 
I'm going to have the towel right over my hips. My hands are going to be on top of the towel, slightly more narrow than the end of the towel. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and push the towel into the ground the whole time. I'm going to hip press and then we're going to march. My hands are going to be slightly off the ground, but I want my arms straight and driving into the ground as hard as they possibly can here. So we're on the ground, towels right over the hips, pushing the hands into the ground. We're going to press the hips up and we're going to march with our feet, keeping those arms straight, pulling those arms into the ground. You pulling? You pulling? Do you see my tricep? Do you see those triceps? Did you hear her? Do you see those triceps flexing? This is a lot harder than it looks, ladies and gentlemen. Really trying to pull that towel into the ground, keeping those hips up, alternating which foot we're stepping up with the whole time. Small rest period here. Breathe, shake those arms out a little bit, and we're getting into the next round. Ready? Press those hips up. Arms are pulling that towel into the ground as hard as you possibly can. And we are picking those hips up in a nice marching fashion, alternating which leg we're stepping up with the entire time. Keep it up, guys. You're doing great. Ah, I know those arms are getting tired, guys. Keep pulling. Keep flexing the entire time. Make those little triceps work. Make it work. Down. Big breaths. I know those triceps are getting tired, guys. Give me 100% here. Look at him. Look at him. Watch her triceps next round. Look, 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 look. <laughs> and begin. Hips are up. Alternating steps, keeping those arms flexed and tight the entire time. There you go. You're looking good. Keep breathing the entire time. It may not seem like you're doing a whole lot here, but those triceps are doing 100%, and we need to make sure they are getting oxygen. Come on, keep pushing. Keep those arms pulled down. Try and keep those hips up as high as you can get them. Woo! Down. We have one more round of that, and then we will get into our isometric holds, which is going to be just a load of fun. How are those triceps feeling? They're cooked. They're cooked. And up. Looking good. Make sure you're breathing here. Keep that pull straight down. Nice, steady pace inside and out. You're looking good, you pull that towel down into the ground. You really try and drive it in there as much as you possibly can. Wow. Woo, they're burning. You're almost there, girl. Five seconds left. Now for our isometric hold, we're gonna have one leg up, one leg's gonna be extended, so we're gonna be in that upright position, continuously pulling down the entire time. So basically half of our hip press. So, you ready? Yeah. We're going to hip press up, pick that leg up, driving those hands into the ground, holding this position the entire time. Oh, those eyebrows, so you're in distress. So your arms are pulling you down, your hips are pushing you up. We have a constant internal struggle here to really make sure we're getting the most out of this exercise. Keep it up five seconds. We are almost there, guys. Keep it up. We are switching sides here, and that is going to be it for our hip marches. So make sure you guys give me 100% here. You ready for this, little ball? Yes. Ready. Ryan White, what up, boy? Good to see you, man. Haven't seen you in a very long time, man. I hope you're doing all right. So we're keeping those hips up. Arms are pulling those hips down as hard as you possibly can, trying to flex those triceps straight into the ground as hard as you possibly can. There you go. Maximum effort. Keep it up. You're doing great. Keep breathing. Five seconds left. Down. Go ahead and relax. I'll take that towel from you, young lady. So next up, we're going to roll over on our stomachs. We're going to have the towel slightly wider than our shoulders here. Just slightly wider. We're going to be on our tummer We're going to pick our chests up as much as we can, nice neutral neck. I want to pull the towel open as wide as I can, and then we're going to push straight out in front of us, and then pull straight back down into the chest. When you come into the chest, I want you to tuck into that upper chest where you're gonna get a really big flex of that mid to upper back, all right? So, 
Hands are slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Chest is up. We're extending fully. You're pulling that towel open as hard as you possibly can and pulling all the way into your chest. What you been up to, Ryan? Good to see you, man. I've just been doing this, you know, gym stuff, Jimmy thing. Hope you're doing all right. Hope the family's doing all right. All the way up, all the way down. Big squeeze that upper back on the top and then come right back in. Squeeze down and relax. Take a couple seconds. You can take a nice 10 second nap here. Everyone enjoys them. Put them the naps over. Get ready. Go ahead and grab your towel. Pull it as tight as you can. Press it all the way up, all the way down. Pull to that upper chest until you get that flex of your mid to upper back. And then right back down. Keep that chest up. Keep flexing. There we go. Woo! Towel never felt so heavy. Boy, I'll tell you what. 10 seconds. You're doing great, Amy. Keep breathing, keep breathing. There you go. Down. We got two more rounds of those. Hope you guys are doing okay. You take another 10 second nap. And then we get right back to it. Get ready. Get steady. Begin. There we go. Slow it down a little bit. Keep that tension high. Make sure you're pulling that towel as wide as you possibly can. There we go. Looking good, E. Looking good, E. She's flexing. She's pulling. Once you get to that mid-back, flex as tight as you can and come right back out. Nice steady breathing. In and out. In and out. Rest. How's that feel? That was great. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it was great, y'all. Almost there. Job, guys. Last one. You know, the family's doing great. There's a lot of us. I'm sure you remember that. But everyone's healthy and everyone's doing all right so far. I'm surprised you're still working so much at the airport. I wouldn't think you guys would be so busy, but glad you're still working, man. Good to hear from you. Woo! Keep working hard. Pulling tight. Squeezing as tight as you can here. Woo! Come on, five seconds left. Down. Now, for our isometric holds, we're going to do this understatement. There's like 50 of us now. So this last set, we're going to have two hold points. The first hold point, we're going to hold at the chest as tight as we can. And the second one, we're going to hold in that upright position. So first one, we're going to hold right at the chest. And pull as tight as you can. Also trying to pull into your chest as tight as you can. Dallas Anders, what's up, buddy? Good to have you here. Come on, keep pulling. She's drawing those elbows down, trying to pull as tight as we can. Thanks for the follow, Ryan. Eight seconds left. Pull that tight. Keep pulling, Ramos Terry. Down. Now our last one, what we're going to do is we're going to extend those arms all the way overhead, still opening up the hands up as hard as we can, trying to fight through this next and last 25 seconds. All right, guys? Go ahead and get set. Pull those arms out. Pulling as tight as we can here. Looking good. Keep breathing here. Notice we got a nice neutral neck. She's not looking up. She's not looking down. Neutral spine as we're pulling open here. She is shaking. You guys should be shaking at home too if you're pulling as hard as you can. We're almost there. Eight seconds left. Dallas, thank you for the light. Four seconds left. Keep pushing, guys. Down. Great job. Last round, excuse me. Last round is going to be on our back, which I know you guys really enjoy. So we're going to lay on our back. I'm going to have my legs bent. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap my towel around my legs. And I'm going to cross the towel over and switch hands. My palms should be facing up. And I want to be dragging that towel open. All right? Pedro! What's up, buddy? So what we're going to do, I'm going to have both palms facing me. I'm going to press up and I'm pulling my arms open as much as I can. I'm going to open my legs until my hands touch and then close the legs. Open and close. So go ahead and get on your backs. We're going to cross the towel under the legs. Palms are going to be facing up. Hips are up. And now you're pulling your arms open as much as you can, opening your legs, and then pulling the legs closed. Open the legs, pull the legs closed. There you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is a good one, ladies and gentlemen. 
Pedro! What's up, man? I haven't seen you in so long, man. It's good to see you. I hope you and your family are doing well, man. Good to see you. And relax. Go ahead and bring it down. How'd that feel? Oh, that's great. Those arms are tough, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hope you guys are excited as Miss Erica is right here. She's working her butt off. Hands on. I don't have any. Pulling those arms open and open. There we go. Pulling it tight the whole time, making those legs work, making those arms work. Now naturally, the legs are stronger than the arms, so the arms are gonna fatigue quicker here, but I want you guys to try and keep pushing through this entire set. Come on, you're doing great, girl. Oh my goodness. And down. This is our last set for our lying. Oh, I miss you too, Pedro. If you ever come back, I'm here. And open. There you go. Keep pulling. Making sure you're pulling those arms as tight as you possibly can. Flexing those knees open. Pulling that towel open with your legs. And then cinching it right back up with those arms. There you go. Looking good. Looking good. Five seconds left. We're almost there, little lady. Relax. You can take a 12-second nap right now. Sleep. We got two more sets of that. Hope you guys are feeling hungry for a little more. Hips up, open and close in here. Keep those hips elevated off the ground the entire time. And we're trying to keep that pressure on the heels of our feet. You do not want to be pressing through your toes here. Squeeze it. Open it right back up. Here we go. There we go. Come on. You got a little lady. Open. Close. Five seconds left. We're almost there. Down, 20 seconds of rest, which means we have our holds next. So for one hold, we're gonna have the legs, no, for both, we're gonna have the legs open, try to pull them closed with our arms the entire time. So we're gonna be in that upright position, legs are going to be open, and try and pull your legs closed. Keep them, keep them open, but pull it as tight as you can, trying to close those legs with your arms, trying to open them up. Open them up. Come on. You got it. You got it. You can do it. Pull them open. There you go. Fight it. Legs need to be pulling out the whole time. There you go. You're looking good. Looking good. We're almost there. Five seconds left. Down. 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 Next up, what I want you to do is your legs are going to be closed. Arms are going to be open, and we're going to try and pull those legs open as tight as we can, keeping those arms flexed. So knees together, up, pull as tight as you can with the arm, and try and open those legs up and keep a nice isometric hold going on here for the next 15 seconds. There you go. Keep breathing. She's pulling as tight as she can open the entire time. You guys need to be working here. Ellie, come on, girl. Work it. Let's go, girl. Come on. Keep pushing, guys. Five seconds left. Down. Go ahead and rest. Mike, thank you for the follow, my friend. Hope you guys are doing all right. That was it for round two. All we have left is my finisher and our stretches. So I hope you guys are feeling okay because the finisher is going to be a butt kicker, if you will. Um, if you haven't already, make sure you like, you share, all that stuff. Your shares really help these videos out more than anything. So if you could slap that share button, slap it so we can keep making these videos, all right? Now, I like to save a finisher for last, something that I think is gonna just take the wind from your sails and just finish off an already amazing workout. So what we're gonna do is a crunch jump rope with our towel. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be on our backs, with the end of the towel, and I'm gonna start overhead. Brittany, what up, girl? I'm gonna start overhead, legs bent, and we're gonna treat this very similar to a jump rope. I'm gonna take my towel, I'm gonna crunch up, throw the towel overhead and sit back, and then I'm gonna crunch back up and throw the towel back up overhead. So sit up, row back, row. The whole time, I'm trying to get it over my feet. <laughs> Check out some fat feet. 
but you want to try and keep that steady pace coming up and over the whole time. All right, so grab the ends of your towels, pulling them over your feet, and we're going to do this for what's known as a Tabata timer, which is eight sets, 20 seconds of high intensity, 10 seconds of low intensity. This is a very intense timer, hence the name high intensity interval timer. So make sure you're giving me 100% here and you're trying to work for as many reps as you can throughout these entire sets. All right, this is your last series of exercises here. So really make sure you guys are giving 100% so we can get the most out of today's workout. All right, let's do it. Ready? Ready. Starting in 10 seconds. Got this, guys. Let me get that towel overhead. Feet need to be up. And go. Throw that towel overhead. Sit back. Sit back up. And right back over. Sit up and throw. You got me back, right back. Throw it over. There you go. This is probably best without shoes. Maybe we'll take the shoes off after this. Back up. Good. Why don't you pop those shoes off? This should just give you a little less for that towel to grab. This should make this move a little smoother. Coming up, throwing it over. Sit back, right back down. Look. There you go. This is keeping a lot of tension on our core here. We're moving through a nice big range of motion here. There you go. It doesn't let you cheat. If you try and sit only halfway on the way up, you're never going to get that towel around those feet. Go ahead and relax. Feeling good? Feeling great. Feeling great. Feeling good. How are you? Ready? Let's get it. Coming up. Coming right back. There we go, you guys are looking good here. Hope you're keeping up with Miss Erica over here. It's a lot tougher than it looks. Ooh, you got a nice little rhythm going on right now. Right back down and right back up. Down, great job, Eve. Great job at home, you guys are killing it as well. Good job, guys. Ready? Let's begin. Coming up and down, make sure. <laughs> Make sure you're breathing here, keeping a nice steady pace of breathing in and out, throwing that towel over those feet, sitting all the way up and sitting all the way back down. Five seconds left, we're almost there guys. Down, now that was our halfway mark for our Tabata timer. So take a couple deep breaths. We got four more to go. Get ready, get steady, let's begin. There we go, we're breathing tight, we're moving strong here. 10 seconds left, keep breathing, keep moving. You guys are doing great. Woo, she caught the feet. Three seconds left, down, breathe deep. 10 second nap. Looking good, Get ready, go. Fifteen seconds. Nice steady pace. Ooh, crunch those abs up. You better sit up there. Ooh, there we go. We want to try and sit up as high as we can. <laughs> Make those abs work. If you have really long arms and you can just do this with just your arms, don't cheat yourself. Make sure we sit up here. You know who I'm talking to. Here we go. Round seven of eight. We're looking good, sitting up, sitting all the way back down, crunching those abs up, throwing that towel over the feet in both directions. Oh no! Oh, no. There we go, big sit, sit right back up. You guys are looking good at home, keep it up five seconds left. Those abs should be burning down. So we have one more set and that is gonna be it for our exercises. So give me 100% here, try to get as many reps as you can in. Come on, rep it out. Woo, up and down, and up and down, there we go. 12 seconds left, get as many reps in as you can, come on. Almost there, almost there, three. Down. Good job, you killed it. 
You guys killed it at home Jack, as well. Yes. That was an excellent workout. I hope you guys had a lot of fun. And that was with just a towel, all right? So if you did have fun, make sure you check out our, our Facebook. Every, South Africa, Mike, what's up, buddy? Welcome, hey man, across the world, welcome. Hope you had a good workout. Um, I know we had a good workout here. Erica killed it, you could tell she was struggling today. I know those were some tough workouts when I see her struggling. So I know that kicked your guys' butts at home. I'm, her, I'm sure you had a great workout. Now, if that was a little too tough, a little too easy, we also do custom workouts online. So if you do need a personal trainer, holla at your boy. Link is in the description above, uh, theliftersguild.com. Uh, we're staying strong. I hope you guys are staying safe over there. I hope nothing is too crazy. Everything's been all right here, but it feels like it just keeps getting worse and worse because people aren't listening. So hopefully everything goes okay. We're going to finish you guys off with a little stretchy stretching that you can only do with a towel. And then we'll get you on to a nice little Friday and a happy little weekend. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and grab that towel again. The first thing we're going to do is a lat stretch. So what we're going to do is we're going to... We're going to throw that towel over our shoulder. I'm going to try and get this hand as close to my shoulder as I possibly can. I'm going to reach up from behind, grabbing that towel as high as I can. And now I want to extend that bottom arm, which is going to pull that top arm down, giving me a nice stretch of that top arm. Okay, let's go ahead and grab this right here. South Africa, man, that's so far away. Ready? Go. Exercise one. Oh no! I hate when she talks to me. So we're pulling that arm down, we're getting a nice stretch here in the tricep and the lat, making sure that we're extending down with that bottom arm. That is how we're building tension in our triceps. So make sure you're pulling and make sure you're breathing here. We're trying to relax and we're trying to stretch. Good job, you looking good. Down, you got about 15 seconds to switch sides here. So get that arm right next to your shoulder, grab it as high as you can, and then we're going to try and extend and pull that arm down. Three, two, one. Pull it. There we go, we're extending that arm. We're gonna nice pull that tricep and turn to your side. There you go. Make sure you're breathing, nice steady pace here, and you're pulling down and get a nice big pull of that top arm. Good work out today. Thanks. She did great. Good job, guys. Good job, guys. Three, two, one. Down. Next up, we're going to do a pec stretch. We want to grab that towel as wide as we can, right behind the neck. And what I want to do is I want to extend my arms back until they are straight, and we're going to hold that position, all right? So, as wide as you can, right behind the shoulders, extend straight back. There you go. We'll try and keep those arms right above your shoulders. That's gonna help us open up your chest. Couldn't be in worse condition right now. I'm sorry to hear that, man. But like you said, we're trying to keep our minds and our bodies strong. We're here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday working out, man. So if you want to work out, you want to join us, we're here. We'll be happy to see you here. Last stretch, we're going to be hopping on our backs. Oh, I'm going to latch this over one leg. We're going to lay back, and I'm going to have my neck back. And I'm going to pull this arm or my leg, keeping my leg completely straight, and try to pull that up and over into my chest. So go ahead, lay down on your back. We're going to have the towel right over the foot. Both hands are going to be on. We want to make sure that we lay back. That head should be against the ground. This leg needs to be completely straight. And now pull. Hold that position. Make sure you're breathing nice and deep the entire time. Breathe in. There you go. Mike, is it hard to get food and water and stuff out there? Like, what's going on? That sounds kind of crazy, man. Make sure you're breathing. Nice, steady pace. We're almost there. 
Go ahead and relax. We're going to switch sides. Both legs need to be straight. Head needs to be on the ground. Ready? Go. Pull it nice and tight. Make sure that leg stays straight. If this leg bends, we're going to lose all tension in that hamstring. So make sure that leg is staying nice and straight the entire time. And we are breathing. Big breaths all the way in and all the way out. Short time left. Three, two, one. Your time left. Down, down, down. Oh. Excellent job today, everyone. That was a lot of fun. Hope you guys had a great workout. All right. That is what we can do with a towel. In a towel. I mean, everyone has one of those, and we just completely destroyed you guys. That was a fun workout. We hit a lot of very strange muscle groups, which shows you that. You don't really need much to get a good workout, all right? You just need a little bit of knowledge, a little bit of motivation, and hopefully we had a lot of fun, all right? Oh, not allowed to buy food or sleep. Holy crap. This case is always such only food. Dude, that sounds insane. That's kind of what I'm worried that we're going to turn into. Like, I don't want curfews. Like, I don't want any of that stuff. So that would that'd freak me out a little bit. So I hope you're staying safe, and I hope you're doing all right. Oh, yeah. So we're going to be here. So if anyone is on lockdown, you can't leave. You can't go to a gym. You know other people that are locked down and can't go anywhere. Share this. Get them working out too. Because I know getting isolated and locked in a certain place where you can't go anything, you can't see anybody. Um, working out is an outlet for a lot of people. And I, I hope that we can be that outlet to you know help people get better to keep them in a good mind state as you know, we're in this tougher time. Um, and we wanna be there for you guys. So hopefully that did that for you guys and we're keeping you mentally and physically in shape. Um, and like I said last time, we're changing our workout time next week. We will be 5.30 p.m. Eastern Central Time. Um, we'll be doing Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Monday is leg day, Wednesday is upper body day. And Friday is going to be a full body day with some random piece of equipment that I pick throughout the week to make it a little more exciting for you guys at home. So I hope you guys had a great workout. Uh, appreciate you coming. Appreciate you standing by. Make sure you like and share the video. That helps us a great deal. Uh, Miss Erica, you got anything? Good work today, guys. That was an excellent work today, guys. You guys absolutely killed it. We will be back here Monday, 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, we hope to see all of you guys there. Uh, if you missed it, we'll have this video up on YouTube in no time, so you can always follow us on there as well. Um, thanks for coming by, guys. Hope to see you next time. We're the Lifters Guild. I'm Vinny. This is Erica, and I hope you kicked your butts today. Good work today, guys.